students in this video i am going to show how we can find the value of p when the two lines are perpendicular to each other is given to us this information is given to us so here the first thing that we have to do is to have an idea what happens when the lines are perpendicular to each other so let's uh, try to understand uh, through a diagram let us say line l1 is perpendicular to line l2 we know that for any line there is a parallel vector to it so let us say that parallel vector is b1 in the direction of the line l1 and there is a parallel vector b2 in the direction of the line l2 so when the two lines are parallel their parallel vectors are also perpendicular when the two lines are perpendicular their parallel vectors are also perpendicular so their dot product will be zero that means the sum of the product of the corresponding direction ratios will be zero that is a1 into a2 plus b1 into b2 plus c1 into c2 will be zero and this is the equation which will help us in finding the value of this unknown p so here the direction ratios b1 b1 are the denominators present in the first line and the denominator present in the second line will be b2 but before declaring the direction ratios b1 and b2 we first have to check if the given equation of line is in standard form or not so here we can see it is not in the standard form of equation of line standard equation of line is x minus x1 upon a y minus y1 upon b z minus z1 upon c so here we can see that it is 1 minus x but it should be x minus x1 that means x uh, minus or plus some some scalar number should be there so we have to change its sign right so in that way first converting it to standard form this and this equation then we have to uh, write the b1 b2 whichever we get in the denominator so here let's write this equation in standard form so we have to take minus sign common so this will become x minus 1 upon minus 3 is equal to again here 7 will be taken outside which gives us y minus 2 by 2 by 7 p is equal to z minus 3 by 2 nothing to be done for this portion so now it is in standard form so here the direction ratios are minus 3 2 by 7 p and 2 so this is our b1 vector direction ratios right similarly for the second line for this again we have to write in the standard form so we have to write the x term first and we have to take the minus sign common so this will be x also we have to take out 7 common and that will be then shifted to the denominator so x minus 1 upon 3 by 7 as we have taken minus sign common so that minus sign will be in the denominator so minus 3 by 7 p is equal to y minus 5 upon 1 is equal to here also we will take out minus sign common so this is z minus 6 upon minus 5 so here the direction ratios are minus 3 by 7 p comma 1 comma minus 5 so this, these are the direction ratios that is of the parallel vector b2 vector okay now simply we have to put in this equation that is sum of the product of the corresponding elements so this gives us minus 3 into minus 3 by 7 p plus 2 by 7 p into 1 plus 2 into minus 5 is equal to 0 now this will give us the value of p minus 2 minus is plus 3 into 3 is 9 by 7 p plus 2 by 7 p minus 10 is equal to 0 now let's find the lcm 7 this is 9p plus 2p minus 70 is equal to 0 so this becomes 9p plus 2p minus 70 is equal to 0 and this is nothing but 11p is equal to 70 and the value of p is 70 upon 11 so this is how we can solve for p when certain condition is given to us and that uh, formula is to be used corresponding to the uh, given condition like here the lines were perpendicular so the product of the direction ratios uh, has to be zero which helped us in finding the value of p thank you